Next tip up for getting five win streaks is always be aware of team comps and maps. Here we're playing Circuit Royale as DPS, so Widow or Hanzo is a good pick on this map. However, our ally has already locked in Hanzo, so if I was to pick Widow, we wouldn't have constant DPS damage for pressure. Also, it just so happens the enemy went Sombra and a Widow versus Sombra is no fun and likely to lose the 1v1. So as you can see, if we didn't consider taking the comp into consideration, we likely would have ended up picking up Widow and that would have caused us a delay in the push. And these types of delays is what can make you not reach the checkpoint and lose the game. All right, moving on to objective knowledge. So knowing things like the payload moves slightly faster when two or three people are near it rather than one makes a small difference between reaching the checkpoint and the enemy tank reaching it in time to contest. So when it's near the checkpoint, it's best to have three people on it as you don't want the enemy tank to have more time to reach it which will delay reaching the checkpoint and possibly lose the game. This is the same with control points. Another tip for hero picking is knowing what to play and when to play it. So just because you played Sombra on circuit attack and it went super well, doesn't mean you should play it on defense. Here a confident and mechanical Ash player can defend the point better than a Sombra pick. For example, the ally tank dies as a nanoed Roadhog ult engages on him. Though running into the enemy backline and away from his supports did not help him, but nevertheless the enemy pushes up after killing our tank. Here I'm close to ult and realizing this I'm looking to get the last bit of damage off to reach my ultimate. As soon as I get my ult I place it in a position that's able to defend the payload and stop the enemy from pushing. This helps to buy time for my tank to reach back to the payload and it's small things like this that make a difference. This was only possible by being able to hit my shots and my dynamites earlier in the game to gain charges towards my ult which is basically being confident and familiar with your hero. Last few tips is knowing the objective situations. So here it's overtime and none of my teammates are alive and payload is super close to reaching the point. I have to go in here. There is no point in me just standing back and shooting. So we go in, we buy time for our allies. Kiriko is able to reach us and we end up buying more time. These few more seconds allow our tank to come back into the fight and eventually it will allow us back into the fight. So I decide to go more tanky as I'm not sure if my supports are going to be alive. I go in with Bastion and we end up being able to defend off the payload and win the game. So objective tips are very important when trying to go onto a win streak or trying to win the game which leads us to the next objective tip which is playing for the objective. Again here as soon as flashpoint unlocks I'm looking to cap it. I start shooting at the diva, realizing she decides to stay where she is I move on to the point. Now if the diva moves towards me after I drop to the point my tank will be able to move to their backline and possibly get an elimination and gain space for the point so either way it's a win-win and to win these games you have to cap the point now if i was to continue to shoot where i originally was and not look to capture we would probably still be shooting with no outcome miss out on the capture and possibly allow the enemy team to capture first so to stress the importance of a tip i'm gonna give you a second example of it which i gave multiple examples of the objectives tips which means objectives tips are very important so i'm gonna give you a second example of a team composition tip as in my opinion they are very important so the tip is understanding the team composition so i'm playing sojourn and i realize i'm up against a tracer and ash both of which aren't great for sojourn on top of this they have an orissa tank and we have a dive tank winston where our healer lucio is following the winston dives which is completely fine but there's no cover for me so with this added to the fact that getting kills on sojourn versus ash and tracer won't be easy i decided to switch switching here is very important and whatever you switch to again you should be comfortable and familiar with the mechanics i go for bastion here so we get back into the fight as Bastion and as you can see we have a good impact on the fight and manage to finalize a kill. This wouldn't be possible without realizing both team compositions and being familiar and comfortable with the hero picked. 
to wrap up the video a lot of important points but i will break it down as simply as i can to win games the objective tips are very important team composition is very important and understanding what most heroes do is super important with that being said good luck in your games and leave comments down below for any other tips